Hello, everyone, and welcome to a three-part video series on how to find an internship in the art field or the related industry. Throughout this series, we're going to cover a lot of different topics, ranging from what is an internship to how do you find your own internship experience, and then ultimately, how do you make the most of that experience? In today's video, we're going to be joined by Serena Salentic, who is a University of Iowa art professor, to discuss what is an internship and why is it important. Following that conversation, we're then going to jump into a, a conversation with Gary Klein, who's a career advisor here at the university, as well as a current University of Iowa student who found a summer internship experience. To start off this entire video, though, let's lay the framework. Let's talk about why are internships important to your University of Iowa experience. So to do that, let's have a conversation with Serena. Hello, my name is Serena Salentic, and I teach here at the University of Iowa as an associate professor of instruction. Um, so oftentimes students will ask me in the very beginning of the semester, hey, should I be doing an internship? Should I do any freelance work? And I always say absolutely yes. And why? Not trying to create more work for you guys, but it's a really great way for you to test the skills you learn in the classroom out in the real world. Okay? You get to work with employers, you get to work with clients, and you might be able to work with team members. So it's really great for you to, you know, take those InDesign skills or Procreate that you learn and see how it works out there. It's a really great way to flush out any questions you might have in regards to the day-to-day -day operations uh, an agency or company has, but it also helps you determine, is this the correct career path I want to go? Okay. So it's a really great way to test it out before you get out there and graduate and you try to find a real job. It might really help you to determine, oh, this is exactly what I want to do. Yes, I want to take more advanced classes. Or it might also help you to recognize, you know what, I don't want to go down this path, but taking this internship made me realize I want to take a different direction in my uh, education. So it really helps to, you know, answer those questions you might personally have. So anytime you have the opportunity to, you know, apply for an internship that you feel is a meaningful fit for you, then go ahead and, you know, apply for it. So I encourage even sophomores to sophomores to juniors. That's a really good time for you guys to be looking for internships. Um, and I have to say, you know, with this whole process of applying for an internship, it takes a while. Don't just think it's just going to come like that in your inbox and you're suddenly going to get an internship. Uh, a lot of employers, you know, will post jobs. You know, for example, if you're coming in fall semester, a lot of them will, you know, upload maybe November for a, a summer internship. You know, start thinking about finding an internship. Find one that's based on location, one that's based on flexibility, and one that hopefully pays you. Um, more times that often than not, especially at, you know post pandemic, employers are finding out that they need to be more flexible with their interns if they want to land a good one. Uh, so flexibility is a key with students. So you know if you're busy, like I said, you're a student athlete or you you have another job. Um, you might find an internship where they allow you to work nights or weekends that are flexible with your schedule. You might find one that is willing to, you know, consolidate or compress it, you know, June to July instead of the entire summer. Um, so it's really good to start the process early to find an employer that is a good fit for your schedule and also your skill sets. Um, so the longer you wait during your education, the less chance of you finding um, an internship that's a good fit. So I just think start early. And then build up your internship, uh, um, I guess, history, you could say. So it's okay to have more than one internship, obviously, of course. You want to build your skill set. You want to build your portfolio. And you want to start making those connections with employers. Um, it truly is also about networking, too. So starting out early, finding an entry-level internship, maybe your, your sophomore year. And then your junior year, you might apply for one that's a little bit more advanced. Um, that might even pay more or give you a little bit more responsibility in the team environment. Um, so that's why I always say start as soon as possible. Thanks, Serena, for that awesome overview about internships. Let's now shift gears and jump into that conversation with Gary and Brayden. So where are you doing your internship? Yeah, so my uh, internship is uh, in Des Moines this summer at uh, Meredith Corporation. Yeah. So tell us about the role that you're taking on and give us a little bit of a brief description of what you know you're going to be doing. I know you haven't started yet. Yes. Um, so um, the role is a graphic design intern, um, and I'll kind of be rotating through their different departments um, in the print um, 
department working with their magazine, um, the digital media, so advertisement design, and then um, photography as well. So when you, when you were looking for an internship, how did you decide on what you were looking for? And how did you end up choosing Meredith? Yeah, uh, when I started looking, um, I think it's, it gets kind of overwhelming because there is a lot of options and um, there's lots of you know, different routes that you can go. Um, but um, I was able to kind of narrow it down to you know, locations that I wanted to be as well as um, you know, just reading through and um, figuring out what places um, best fit with um, where I wanted to be. And um, also in how I came down to the decision of looking into Meredith is just um, the connections that I had had there and um, also, you know, just really good things that I've heard about them. So. so as a result of doing this internship, what do you think you're, what are you hoping to get out of it and how do you think it could help you in the future? Yeah, um, I'm just really excited to make connections with, you know, the different employees and figure out how I, I guess just, yeah, ask questions and get to know how they do their, you know, creative process, how they do things and what's helped them along the way. And so um, I'm excited for the networking opportunities um, and just to be able to learn, I um, mean, get experience and, you know, also just be able to narrow down what, uh, you know, specific way, you know, I want to run in this field. So that concludes our first video about internships. One of my biggest takeaways from this entire video is to essentially think about your internship experiences as a great way to learn more about the field that you're interested in, but also to continue to grow and build upon your skill set. Be sure to check out our next video where we talk about steps that you can take to best ensure that you have the application ready to roll for these openings. So we'll see you in that next video.